What's up? It's your boy Nate. Coming back at you with level 13. Rainer memes. I've got drop pods. Um maybe we just rain down fire bats on the enemy this time. I think that could be I think that could be fun. All I have to do is saturate. That's my number one goal. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying seeing a little bit more of the YouTube stuff's put up. Um, getting back into like a regular flow with uploading has has been nice. Um, where we live now, we moved here in December. But things have kind of been a little topsy-turvy for a while. We finally got to a place where uh, we have fiber internet again. So it's really easy for me to do these 4K uploads. And I've, I've, I've also, as you guys can see, there's no graphics, or overlays, or anything that goes up with these. So it's just clean fresh crisp starcraft and we'll be uploading some casts we gonna be doing some commentary of uh some of the korean starcraft league games since the time zones are a little bit tricky but uh shout out to chicken man and dave testa and some other great folks out there doing wonderful things to try and keep money flowing in the starcraft 2 space you know get get good good players to play some games so they can get paid and then get some extremely handsome bearded commentators to uh, make make some content around it so a lot of this stuff uh, has been going pretty smoothly so i would say that if if you've been tuning in if you've been hoping to see a little more nate casting um we we will be doing games on the youtube as well in the near future so stick around stay tuned for all of that you know, I gotta like just get back into the rhythm of doing it. So starting, I start my day every day with co-op, and it's nice. Uh, if you're wondering what's going on in my world, today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday for me, right? Uh, I I went live right after. I started playing right after the Aaron Rodgers news broke. So for those of you who really don't care about American football, which is like 90% of you, congratulations! You are now aware that my team has a quarterback. That's it. I'm not gonna go into any further detail. But you just, yeah, yeah, it's over. It's over. So I'm free. Uh, I'm free to talk about other stuff. Um, like, have you guys heard of this game, Raid Shadow? Nah, you, yeah, you thought I was gonna, you thought I was going there, huh? No. Resident Evil 4 comes out in like a week, though. I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited for Resident Evil 4. Absolutely cannot wait. Absolutely cannot wait for Resident Evil 4 to drop. I'm gonna be, we're gonna be grinding through that next weekend. All right, that's the plan. I told Katie we're not allowed to buy tickets to go see John Wick until until we finish Resident Evil 4. I said it has to be has to be my cross to bear. So we're gonna go we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna go all the way with it. That's what Lewis. That's what Lewis would want. I do like this mission. I really like this mission for Raynor. With this prestige, it's just nice because it, you, you normally don't really get anything. Like, you don't normally really get anything from this. From this prestige, you just build bio units, right? It doesn't really change too much of, like, what a normal strategy can really be. If anything, you don't get any buffs for mech, so you feel a little bit limited in that regard. I guess what I'm really trying to say is that I like this mission because I can make fire bats. And they're very strong against everything. Because the zombie buildings are classified as light. Stru Even though they're structures, they're not armored. They're light. So, you know, if you've, if you've got Hellions, they're great. But we don't have Hellions. We just... Yeah, we've just... Okay, I'm building the factory there. Just got fire bats. But fire bats are really good. They're good against everything on this map. They're good against everything on this map. So my plan is build fire bats get this first wave set up and, and hopefully, you know, once the years start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop, then we'll hit the ground running. You know, fire bats with stim and SC2 engine just kind of cracked. Right. I feel, like, I feel like we can all agree there. You may, you may not agree with me on everything, but I think we can all agree. Fire, fire bats, pretty good against zombies. A topical conversation with Resident Evil, of course, but this game doesn't have zombies. Resident Evil 4 isn't really about zombies. 
looks like we've taken out a it's about uh, it's about a Spanish cult but they put parasites in you so that the cult leader can literally control you Ra rather than rather than through propaganda they they just they just skip straight to tentacle monster injections I think we've all been there though right we, we all know what that's like enough structures today to stay ahead of the infestation I've already marked a few for you this better be good Okay, so I think this is the way to do it, right? Yeah, and just kind of aim move everything. Calling down the banshees. Bad guys. Well, not done yet, commanders. Here's some more structures to burn out. Swap them. You got it. Look, they're going as fast as they can, okay? They're going, they're going. Interesting take. Did I, did I did I cross did I cross the line there? I got really distracted trying to micro all of these units. You never heard the cult thing before? Oh no no no! Like that's I'm. Oh sorry, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say anything weird. Res Resident Evil Four is a game where you you play as the main character from Resident Evil Two, which is a zombie game. So that that's why that's why I was like, oh, it's not zombies. It's yeah. But the president's daughter gets kidnapped. Uh, it, and they're like, oh, we don't. You know, we think it's an inside job, so we can't tell anybody that we're sending you out here. You're you're on your own. No backup. No support. And then you find out that there's a, there's a cult that's kind of like taken over the town. But eventually you find out that it's, they, they just straight up have like a mind control parasite that uh, turns people into like super monsters as well. And yeah, yeah, you gotta fight your way through like a bajillion of them to save the president's daughter. And that's, that's the game. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Originally released in, I think, 2004 on the GameCube. It sounds pretty lame. Yeah, I mean, it's a Resident Evil game. They're all they're all meant to be quite campy. They're they're certainly not the most. Uh, the, the franchise has never been about in-depth, deep storytelling. It's campy horror. That's that's what it is. You know, if you like stuff like Evil Dead or Saw. You know, uh, if you thought Cabin Fever was a funny movie, then you would enjoy, you know, Cabin Fever. Great, great funny horror movie, right? If you if you enjoy movies and stuff like that, then you'd really enjoy Resident Evil because there's, you know, it's like it's it's comically it's comically excessive in the horror department, in my opinion. That said, Resident Evil Seven and well, I'd say Resident Evil Village is probably the scariest one they've made. Just because of the dollhouse. The infested will be here any minute. You rang. Oh no 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 no! I'm talking about the uh, low budget uh, B movie ripoff of Cabin in the Woods called Cabin Fever. Sorry. They find a stoner in a cave with a dog. And the dog's name is like Professor something, and then the guy asks him if his dog's actually Professor, and then he's like, "Yeah, at being a dog, you know." And then yeah, it's look. I said I said campy horror, just to be clear, campy horror. Oh yeah, somebody in this, somebody in chat has seen this movie. Thank you. If if you if you've seen this movie in the comments, I just need your thoughts or just like quote it at me, okay? Hopefully you guys have noticed you can you can just spout random movie garbage at me constantly, especially bad movies, and I'll be I'll, I'll keep up lockstep. I think I need medics. Like the hustle, but I advise against it, commanders. It'll be easier to take out the structures in the daytime. We've burned out almost all of the infestation. Let's finish the job. Are you kidding me? Wants to attack us now. How about no? Perfect. Man up. What's up? Your allies being attacked. 
Oh, I see. I get it. I get it now. It's because I don't have depots. My depots build instantly and I still got blocked at 78 supply for like the last three minutes here. Just totally, totally didn't even look at my supply counter. I'm getting buried, really? You're in a spaceship that teleports. Just fly away, dude. I need some medics. We won't have enough time later if we destroy too few structures today. But I don't know. I, I'm someone that finds a lot of humor in poorly executed horror. Or at the least, I just enjoy the campy stuff. It's like, it's kind of like how, you know, that Insidious movie is like, I mean, it, it really should have been categorized as a comedy. Also, nothing happens in the whole movie, just to be clear. Nothing actually happens in the entire film. Spoiler. I don't care. Police aren't going to come after me. I enjoy a good cliffhanger as much as everybody else, but you can't pretend like that movie can stand on its own. The whole entire thing was a vehicle for a horrible cliffhanger that doesn't even go anywhere in the sequel. All right, I need to stop talking about Insidious or bad things are gonna happen. I think we won, right? Day three? Yeah, yeah, this was pretty easy. I mean, my teammate crushed it. Teammate absolutely crushed it. No biggie. No biggie at all. There we go. Nice work. Pin this replay up on the wall. That's right. You are my partner. Well done. Well done. I'm very proud of you. Hope you feel accomplished. Did I level up? Did I level up? Oh yeah, I was mess I was messaging Zombie Grub about co-op. She was playing the mutation. She's playing the mutation. I'm sorry if I doxed you, zombie grub. All right, there you go. We're still not even level 14. GG's. <laughs>